Hey, hey, welcome to Agent Republic. This is <laughs> Suzanne King and Claudio and Tina. Thanks for joining us. Today, what we're going to talk a little bit about is networking and building strategic alliances, as yes, I call them. Yes, definitely. Um, Suzanne, I've got some clients sometimes that say, I want to start a, a networking group or I want to start a, a referral or a partnership group with mm. um, certain people. But where do you actually start with all this? How yeah. does it all begin? Most definitely. Firstly, it starts with setting the intention. Mm. What is the purpose of this group? Because a mm. lot of people go in setting the intention that I want more business. Well, mm. that's about you. And frankly, no one cares about you. Um, <laughs> so I say that nicely, right? So you want to start thinking about what would make, so think about the people you want to network with, yeah. whether it's other businesses that have like-minded clients or whether it's clients directly. So you want to say, okay, what would I need to create that would make it irresistible for them to want to come to my event? Mm. And it's really good to set up an event yourself if you've got the time to do that yeah. because then you're the expert and you can control it. Yeah. So it's really getting clear on what is the value I can provide them. And I always love asking the question, what would make it so irresistible that they would want to come to me? Yeah, and I think it's going back to like, you know, if you're going to hold an event, get to know your client. Definitely. You know, <laughs> I, I remember about a year ago, um, you know, I was talking to a client, he said, oh, I want to do like a little bit of a networking mm -hmm. workshop with a lot of my clients, bring them, invite them in one night. And I said, okay, who are you bringing? And he was talking like the mortgage broker and this, you know, the talk about someone who's talking about property, etc. Mm -hmm. And I just thought, you know what, here we go again. I said, you're in Clovelly. Why do people want to live in Clovelly? Mm -hmm. It's about the lifestyle. Yes. So I said, why don't you get like maybe a nutritionist to come in yes. to talk about lifestyle? Same values. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come in and talk about you know, a nutritionist, perhaps get someone to come in and talk about you know, uh, the area in Clovelly, but just make it a little bit different rather yes. than always we get too stuck on the mortgage broker and, and get the accountant the to come in. The same story. And it's like, uh, it's boring, yes. right? And, and and you've got to get to know your client. So that was number one I thought was yep. really cool. Um, I think also if you are looking at building an outside network group, mm -hmm. okay, like mm -hmm. just a little group, let's talk about like strategic alliances, you I know, accountants that. and so forth. I remember dealing with a girl in Potts Point, same mm. thing, um, there's, there's an agent there, Jason Byrne, and he's got like an 80% market share, like mm. that's just massive, that's awesome. right? Massive. And she goes, I can never break in. So we decided like, let's start a, like a little strategic mm. alliance with some people in the area. And like you say, go outside the industry of yes. mortgage broking, solicitors, etc. So you know what she did? She got she got the local gym guy. Yes, we hairdresser. Got, we got, yeah, hairdresser. Hairdresser, of course. The lady at the laser clinic. Yes. Okay. And Because my... these are people who are talking, yes. talking, talking, talking. And yeah. the other thing too, there's a really strong strategy when you're doing strategic partnerships mm. because number one, a lot of people will go into the relationship saying, hey, I want to do this. But strategic partnerships like a marriage. You want to research that person first and foremost because they've got to be aligned with your values, mm. your vision, your brand, because the worst thing you can do is go partner up with somebody find out that they're actually a bit on the shonky side and that that impacts your brand. So research them first and then you want to put your thinking hat on and think what's in it for them. Yeah. Not what's in it for me, what's in it for them. Again, what would make it irresistible for them to want to be a strategic partnership with you? Yeah, some good points. Like aim for a win-win relationship, a win -win. right? It's always win-win. And the reason why I said what's in it for them and not to think about you is you're going to think about you. Yeah. That's a given. It's yeah. And you have to, of course. I'm not saying not to, but you've got to start thinking about them first and then also to the approach is really important so mm. what tips do you have on the approach well, like approaching these people yeah I think with the approach definitely like some people go oh I've got to get 15 people into a networking group mm. eh, ain't gonna work no. think about quality versus quantity definitely. that's the biggest tip that I would say mm. so when you start researching some of these people who are the ones that you feel you could align with yeah. in your area but actually have a genuine connection, okay? Mm. Because I feel like sometimes people just go, oh, I'm gonna go and try and get like 15 people in my networking mm. group, mm. and all of a sudden you've got solicitors and it never takes off. And guess what happens after like a month or two? Agents give up. That's right. Start small with quality, start with one person, then maybe build it to two, yep. and then three, and then go. I remember this girl, she ended up having 10 people in Potts Point in the area. Mm. And I've got to tell you, there wasn't one mortgage broker yeah. and there wasn't exactly. one solicitor. It was it was brilliant. You know, she had she the gym. She found a new niche. Yeah. Interior designer as well for yep. the area, Potts Point. Yep. I said, think about the people that you could use in your area. Mm. Like, it could be an interior design like Pots Point, for example. And the thing is too, when you are approaching someone, so we're talking strategic partnership, when you are approaching someone first research, then reach out with them with some form of written communication. And the way you usually structure that is compliment them on something 
specific about them because then they know that you've actually researched them and you know them. Then you want to indicate that you're looking to build long-term relationships where it's um, beneficial for both parties and then create some suggestions as, you, as how you can see it could benefit both of you and then organize a coffee chat. Obviously then follow through and go and have that coffee chat with them. It's nice to send out a written piece of communication first because then it gives you a reason to call them. So you can call them up and say, hi, I'm just checking in to see if you got that email or you got that letter or whatever you send them. Or hey, why not send it out with a bunch of cupcakes? Yeah. Like do something that's a bit outside the box and then they're more likely to talk to you rather than you ringing them up cold and saying, hey, I'm, I'm a real estate agent. They've already hung the phone yeah. up. You know, this is the truth. You've got to think about how do I market myself to these people? Yeah, some great tips. Yeah. Look, I hope you've enjoyed our little episode today. So a couple of summary points that you may want to take away. If you're doing a networking event with your clients, get to know your clients, yes. number one. But don't go for the traditional mortgage broker to come out mm -hmm. and do a talk. Get some lifestyle people to come in the area. If it's a lifestyle <laughs> thing, that's why they're moving into that area. Mm -hmm. Secondly, if you're going to start a strategic alliance within your area to mm -hmm. basically get some referrals, start small and then start building it up from there. But get to know them and what they want to do and what they want to achieve. Aim, yeah. aim for win-win, okay? Hope these little tips have served well, you. They're going to be. They're going to serve you. We know these work. We've worked with so many businesses. We know these work. So if you'd like to join us at 5 a.m. for the yeah. 5 a.m. club, we would love for you to do that. So come over to the Agent Republic Facebook page live at 5 a.m. and you'll get more tips from both Claudia and I.